Let's start this week with some good news. Citigroup has increased the NEO price target to 19 US dollars. So in this video, I'll quickly explain how I think about such price targets and what it means for NEO stock. But before we start, I'd like to have a quick word with you. I can see in the analytics that there are still 42% of you guys are watching and not subscribed to the channel. And also of those who are subscribed, only 16% have actually had the notification button activated. And my salary as a YouTuber is basically your like, your subscription, and your sharing the video. So if you could do that, that would be wonderful. Now back to the news, isn't it great? City has raised our price target from 13 US dollars to 19 US dollars. What does it mean? Should we all be bullish and now wait for 19 dollars to happen? Well, if we look at some other price targets also mentioned in this text, then you'll see there is actually a sea of different price targets. For example, Nomura, downgraded new stock from buy to neutral and from $25 down to $7.50 that was by June 12th and Barclays has um, yeah decreased also price target from 10 down to 8 slight decrease there at UBS slight increase from 13 to 15 well you get the point there are very different analyst ratings out there and Citigroup is just one of them now how I personally like to think about such price targets and the news aligned with that actually two things number one is timing and the second one is direction. And what do I mean by that? Well, if we're looking at the price targets here over time, that's the blue line. Um, it's peaked at 56 US dollars on consensus in February 2022 and it's now come down to 16 US dollars. That's where it stands at now. And of course, NEO stock price peaked at 65 US dollars well before that this analyst consensus was at its highest. And it's possible that NEO has actually also bottomed at around 7 US dollars well before that the price targets of the, and the consensus of that has actually reached a low. So these price targets which are usually 12 months um, out looking, we can't really take them literally uh, because usually they come with a lag. Oftentimes at the wrong point in time, they are pointing into the wrong direction. For example, uh, in 2022, when they pointed to even higher and higher price targets, the stock was actually on its way down and declining, right? And now this one, I think the way to read it is actually that it's one of the first upgrades that it's now coming in. And with that, it signifies kind of a change of direction. It's changing the trajectory of these price analyst targets. Other analysts, for example, this Nomura analyst who is now pointing still to $7.50 may come out with a higher price target in the recent future. And that's based, of course, on higher volumes, possibly higher margins with the higher volumes and so on, meaning you know, possibly the bottom has already been in before such price targets come out. We can't really take them as an indicator where the stock will be exactly in 12 months or that the bottom is in. Usually the stock is well in advance to what will actually happen. And so that's why I'm personally happy, of course, about this new price target, which is higher. But on the other hand, I also don't pay too much attention to it. Instead, what I like to do is my, I make my own business investment cases and then I define what I see the stock ultimately be worth in let's say five, 10 years down the line. Then of course I try a little bit of timing and buy the stock and valuation is uh, cheap. That's usually when everybody is negative and screaming to the stock's going to go to $5 or something like that. But more generally, the best strategy actually is buying in small brackets over time, dollar cost averaging into the market, getting a nice average over time, because frankly, no analyst, no smart retail investor, and nobody else, not even Wall Street, can time the markets instead. Usually time in the markets is what's winning as a strategy if you found a stock that you like and where you have the consistent commitment to actually stay invested. But that's for the long time investors. That's not for the traders, I know that. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you in my next video.